This is Panasonic Leica 200mm f2.8 DG Elmerit for Michael Four Thirds. And it is special. Hi, it's Jimmy Chang here from Red35. Today, I want to talk about a special lens. A lens that I think any serious photographer who needs a long-range, fast prime should have a good hard look. It is also a lens that I wish OM System makes. Perhaps one day. This is the legendary Panasonic Leica 200mm f2.8 DG Elmerit Power OIS. <laughs> Man, the name is already pretty legendary. This must be a Leica thing as they like to add anything to make it sound better so they can charge more. But this Panasonic 200mm lens perhaps is an exception. It may not be a real Leica and it may not be made in Germany, delivered in a deluxe box with a paper signed by the technician who hand checked the lens. And it certainly performs and feels like one. Before I became a Michael Four Thirds photographer, I was an exclusive Leica M photographer for a couple of years, and I still have my Leica gear at home. So I can confidently say that this Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 is a beast. <laughs> and just to say, today's video won't be possible without my sponsor, MPB, who also sent this lens to me for review. And MPB is a leading pre-loved gear specialist, and they have a vast selection of used equipment for sale from high-end cine cameras to Michael Four Thirds to bags and even memory cards and batteries. So if you want to try something different and save a few bucks or simply raising some cash for your next upgrade like the OM1, yes, you can also sell your existing gear to MPB too. For those who live outside the UK, well, MPB ships internationally and they also have operations in the UK, US and Europe getting itchy, I also have a link in the video description below and you can spend some time check what they have later. If you're a Panasonic Lumix guy, then you know this lens is fully compatible with your Michael Four Thirds cameras. But if you're an Olympus or OM photographer like myself or any other Michael Four Thirds gear like the Blackmagic, then I can assure you that this Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 also works flawlessly with your cameras. I've made a video showcasing this lens against its little brother, the Panasonic Leica 100-400mm lens recently, and you can check it out with the link up here. And I also used my OM system OM1 throughout the entire review, which is also my default camera for this particular video. With that said, let's crack on with the review. I kind of said it already, this Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 feels like a genuine Leica lens, and this says a lot. For those who have tried and used Leica lenses before wouldn't disagree that their lenses are amongst the best in the world, whether it's built or performance. So this giant beast is built like a German tank. Everything is metal, including the lens hood, which is quite a rare thing these days. The only plastic bit I can see, at least from the outside, is perhaps the buttons and the lens caps. The minimalistic appearance is also very Leica like. It reminds me of a bigger version of my 50mm Summilux for my Leica M. Focus ring is silky smooth with a pleasant heavy duty resistance that tells you that this lens is not just for show. There is an aperture ring which is operated by wire, and even though it feels like a normal click stop ring on a manual lens, it certainly feels good on the hand. The tripod collar is beautiful and again, Germanically industrial feel that just makes you feel that your money is well spent. And overall, I can't and I really can't fault in terms of build and design. Simple, functional and beautiful. This is going to be a short one. This Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 handles well for a Teleprime. However, at 1,245 gram, this is not light. And with a size at 174mm long, 
and 87.5 millimeters wide is pretty big too, <laughs> at least for a micro four third lens. However, this is a very bright prime lens with premium optics and build. And being a micro four third lens is comparatively light when you consider just how big, heavy and expensive a 400 mm 2.8 full frame equivalent prime would be. But at this weight and size, it's better suited for a larger camera bodies with grip. Anything like the EM1 series, the OM1, the G9 and GX series in a Panasonic would be perfect. But if you want a more balanced feel, adding a vertical grip would definitely help. Overall, it's a great handler as far as a fast teleprime lens goes. Again, a picture means a thousand words. So rather giving you some boring brick wall, well, I know, I know some of you may like that, but during my test, I just really enjoy taking picture with this lens. So I will just let the pictures do all the talking. Yummy! Yes, I love the pictures coming from this lens. As you can see, this lens is unquestionably sharp, even wide open at 2.8. Stopping down only improves things further, but by f4, there isn't anything else that can be improved. And of course, like any lenses, the fraction will soften the images in the smallest two aperture settings. There is a small hint of vignette when shooting wide open 2.8, but I wouldn't discount it for its designated purpose. Unlike many Panasonic Leica lenses I've tested before, chromatic aberration isn't a concern here, regardless on how hard you try to push the lens. There is no noticeable flare or ghosting, but the usual Michael Forthers characteristic purple haze, and that is the reflection from the sensor itself when shooting directly into the sun, do present here. But overall, this is an exceptional lens in terms of image performance, and definitely worthy of the Leica name. For most Olympus and OM users, you are very familiar with the feather bokeh and the classic organic rendering from our Pro lenses. So the character that generates from the bokeh of the Panasonic Leica 200mm lens may come as a surprise, but a pleasant one I guarantee. The bokeh is creamy but with a modern touch to it, and this makes this lens a bit more clinical than, let's say, Olympus 300mm f4 Pro and closer to the look from the Olympus 75mm 1.8. It's a matter of taste and preference, but from a review perspective, the Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 has a very lovely bokeh and draw. Well, compared to most Panasonic lenses I've used before, the Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 has to be one of the fastest. And I wouldn't say it's the fastest among all lenses on the Olympus or OM camera bodies, but it's pretty impressive. On the OM1, this lens is not optimized for its latest AF algorithm, so it won't support continuous AF at 50 frames per second. Remember though, there are only a handful of Olympus Pro lenses that are capable at CAF at that speed. And having said that, I've used this for birds in flight and also animals that works perfectly with the OM1's birds detection and animal tracking. So this lens is another good choice for those wildlife photographer who needs that 2.8 aperture and the 200 millimeters reach. Okay, I'm speaking from an OM user's perspective here. Panasonic may be a member of Michael Forthers Alliance and started this beautiful platform with Olympus together. They do design their lenses and cameras independently. 
Now, all their lenses are cross compatible, but not all features can be accessed due to the way they designed the camera, AF and IBIS implementations. I often get asked that if Olympus or OM camera can use the aperture ring from Panasonic Leica lenses. Well, the answer is no. To change aperture, we just have to change it the same way as we normally do with Olympus lenses through the dials on the camera. The second and perhaps a more important feature in compatibility is Sync IS. And this is a feature that is exclusive to each system and not cross compatible, unfortunately. So even if the Panasonic lens has stabilization, like the 200mm 2.8 here, Olympus and OM users can't benefit from Sync IS that uses both the camera IBIS with the lens IS together and vice versa with Olympus lenses with IS and Panasonic cameras. However, my experience so far with the 200mm 2.8 is that I found the inbuilt IS on the OM1 is sufficient to combat any shakes and if you're freezing action, a high shutter speed is usually employed anyway. So therefore, the IS feature is more like preventing me from vomiting after chasing the bird for 10 minutes. So give or take, I wouldn't call any of this incompatibility a deal breaker. And just remember the days that we didn't have IBIS or lens IS at all. Yeah, we are so spoiled these days. I bet you sense my tone here. I love this Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 DG Elmerit. And sadly, I have to return it to MPB. But if anyone asked me about recommending this lens, I would not hesitate a second. Look, my longest lens is my Olympus 40-150mm 2.8 Pro. So I'm not getting the same reach. And the next fast tele lens in the Olympus family is the 300mm f4 Pro and the ultra expensive 150-400mm 4.5 Pro IS. And therefore, whether you're a Panasonic or Olympus OM shooter, if you want a fast professional tele lens, this Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 is unique in terms of both reach and speed. Yes, it is certainly an expensive lens but it's also an exceptional optical masterpiece for the price. Even that, if you have around two and a half grand and want to get a decent Michael Forther long range tele prime for wildlife or close up landscape, this is certainly a choice not to ignore. And it is worth every penny if you ask me. But having said that, this Panasonic Leica 200mm 2.8 has been around for a few years now, and there are plenty on the used market. So if you want to save some money, you can definitely head over to MPB and check if they have any in stock. You have the potential to save a bucket there, like the one I'm testing right here. And that's it for now. Let me know your thoughts on this particular prime lens and do you have one or planning to get a fast tele lens for your wildlife project? And let's have a chat in the comment section below. You know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography, filmmaking, and of course, Michael Four Thirds. Peace.